hello friends we'll be discussing another illustration which will be related to for feature of accounts and this will be a part of over subscription now so when we are discussing about over subscription when we are discussing about premium not paid let's just mix up everything and figure out how exactly the sum is supposed to be solved so in this illustration what we'll be doing is that we'll be having over subscription pro rata premium not being paid on allotment and how the four feature is supposed to happen when all these things are jumbled up so let's figure out with this specific illustration what we have or rather what will be jotting down here for your reference so let's start with the jotting of illustration first Now the question states about Arihant Limited Company who issued one lakh equity shares of the face value rupees ten at rupees twelve. That means each share was sold out at a premium of rupees two here. Now this is payable as follows. That means application, allotment, first, final call. Let's see how exactly we're supposed to pay it up. So basically on application they are taking rupees 2 on allotment they are taking rupees 7 here which includes a premium of rupees 2 as well that means allotment capital will be for rupees 5 and on final call they are taking rupees 3 here now let's figure out how exactly over subscription will be a part of this illustration Now the company receives an application for 2,85,000 shares. Who paying 1,85,000 more than what they had expected because 1 lakh is the issuance of shares. 1,85,000 is what they have received additionally. Now how they deal it is what they have mentioned it down here. The applications of 25,000 share was completely allotted. That means full allotment was made for 25,000 shares. Let's figure out the next category. Further category states that application of 2,25,000 shares were allotted in the ratio of 3 to 1. Every 3 shares applied, you get 1 share here. So that is the ratio they have used for this category. Let's figure out the next category now. Applications of 35,000 shares were completely rejected or refunded here. Now, let's go on to the next part. We have already dealt with pro rata. We have dealt with over subscription now it's time to deal with securities premium we have already dealt with and now the time that we'll be dealing with is the four feature entries here or rather four feature details now in this question they've also mentioned there are two people who failed to pay the allotment money and final call money and their shares were forfeited now, Mr. A, who was allotted 5,000 shares out of the full allotment. So, there is one category where 25,000 applicants were given 25,000 shares. He was of that category and he paid or rather he didn't pay up the amount on allotment post which he was disbarred and rather all his shares were cancelled or forfeited. So, 5,000 shares who didn't pay the allotment money, shares cancelled completely. There is Mr. B as well who had 2000 shares allotted to him who didn't pay up the final call money and hence his shares were also forfeited after that. So now it's time to pass the journal entries here. Now before we could hop on to the working or rather before we could hop on to the journal entries or rather journalizing the transaction let us do some working related to the specifications of application and allotment.
So we have divided the page into two sections, application and allotment. We know that the application will receive was for 2,85,000 share out of which we are supposed to allot only 1 lakh shares. So we'll categorize them now. So the first category refers to the rejected category. We'll go from bottom to top. So 35,000 shares that we had were completely rejected. Next comes 2,25,000 where we went ahead and applied the ratio of 3 to 1. So people who have applied for 2,25,000 shares, they must have received only 75,000 shares and the balance or rather 25,000 we have given as full adjustment or rather full allotment here. So whatever balance amount that we have for the additional 2,25,000. So if you can see 75,000 shares have been only applied or rather only allotted here. So they must have paid their application money. So whatever application money excess we have apart from the refund will be adjusting them in the allotment money. So this is the working that we have done. Now let's go on to the journal transactions. Now while passing the journal letters we have to go into a chronological order. So first we have received the application for 2,85,000 shares. We'll pass that entry now. So that is 2,85,000 shares multiplied by 2 rupees gives you a value of 5,70,000. Out of this application what we have received, we have refunded 35,000 shares multiplied by 2 that is 70,000 value we have already refunded. So let's take that into consideration and pass the entry for refund here. So total of 70,000 is what we have refunded. Now we have received 5,70,000 out of which 70,000 we have refunded. That means we are still left with 5 lakh. If you have to see 1 lakh is the issuance of shares. So we have supposed to or rather we are supposed to take applications only for 1 lakh shares. So 1 lakh multiplied by 2 that is 2 lakh rupees is the ideal amount that we should have received on application. But we have received right now a net of 5 lakh. That means 3 lakh is in addition. So that 3 lakh will be utilized for share allotment. So let's pass that entry for transfer of application to capital and additional allotment entry. So the entry that we have passed here is share application account debit to share allotment to share capital. Share application will have a total of 5,70,000 minus 70,000 because that is the net application money that we have right now. Share capital will refer to the amount that is transferred or that is supposed to be transferred only in reference to the capital of application. So that will be 1 lakh shares multiplied by 2 gives you an amount of 2 lakh. That means the balance that we have 5 lakh minus 2 lakh gives you 3 lakh balance. That is the amount that can be used for adjustment of allotment money received. So for example, in allotment, if you're supposed to receive 10 lakh, we'll be receiving only 7 lakh considering there is no call scenarios in that. If there is any call scenarios, it will get further depreciated or rather further deducted. So ideally 10 lakh is what we're expecting out of that 3 lakh is what we have already received. Subtract that balance is what you're supposed to receive. Now let's pass the entry for allotment. Now allotment has a total of premium also included in that. So let's take that into consideration. So now when it comes to share allotment, we are dealing with only 1 lakh shares here. So 1 lakh multiplied by 7 because allotment refers to 7 rupees. 
which includes premium and capital both. So for share capital it will be 1 lakh multiplied by 5, 5 lakh rupees and balance of premium will be 2 lakh here. Now the next entry will refer to receipt of application or rather receipt of allotment money here. As in the question they have mentioned that there is one person who didn't pay up the allotment money. So we will be passing on that entry or rather call scenarios will be mentioned here. So out of the total share allotment that we are expecting 7 lakh rupees, we know that we have certain calls in arrears here. I have left certain space in bank and the calls in allotment or other calls in arrears here. This is the reason why I have mentioned it because we will be able to figure out how much is the adjustment money that we have here and that I will be mentioning it in red. So out of 7 lakh, we already have received rupees 3 lakhs. That means we are expecting 7 lakh rupees out of allotment. But people have already given us 3 lakh in addition. So that will be utilized here. That means we are expecting 4 lakh rupees. Now again there are certain calls in arrears. That means one person Mr. A he had 5000 shares didn't pay up the amount on allotment and that will be calls in arrears here. So 5000 multiplied by 7. So out of 7 lakh total of 3 lakh 35 thousand is not supposed to be mentioned as received here. So ideally the amount that we would have received in our bank account is only 3 lakh 65 thousand which has been mentioned down here. Now after the share allotment entry of received the company decided to four feature Mr. A's shares. So let's pass the entry for four feature here. Now the entry for share 4 feature will be very common share capital account debit securities premium account debit because this person hasn't paid the premium here to share 4 feature account and to call scenarios account. So share capital will refer to number of shares being forfeited multiplied by the called up amount as we have called up only until four feature or rather only until allotment because after allotment we are going to cancel his calls. So we have called up only until allotment. So we'll mention only the capital amount that is two rupees of application and five rupees of allotment capital. Similarly the premium will refer to the premium amount itself that is 5000 multiplied by two. Calls in arrears will refer to the amount that he hasn't paid up. That means total of allotment money he hasn't paid up. So the balancing figure will be the share forfeiture account which we can say that is the balancing figure because that is the amount that we have already received. That will be 5000 multiplied by 2 rupees because that is the only money he have received from that specific person. So 10,000 is the balancing figure. To verify this entry, the answer should be in the balancing figure as 10,000. Let's figure out if it is there or not. So the total of debit side is 45,000. Total of credit side is 35,000. The balancing figure as share for feature will be 10,000 here. Now that we have forfeited 5000 shares here, the next entry will refer to the share final call and that will be only for 95,000 shares. The reason being 1 lakh shares were issued out of which 5000 has been cancelled. That means only 95,000 shares final call can be expected. So let's pass that entry now. So the total amount that we are expecting is only 2,85,000. Let's pass the entry for receipt of share final call. 
again while passing this receipt entry we know that there are certain calls in arrears because there is mr b who didn't pay up the final call amount so that will be calls in arrears he had 2000 shares So out of 285,000 that we are expecting, 6,000 is the amount that we are not going to receive because 2,000 multiplied by 3 gives you 6,000 is the amount that we are not supposed to receive as call scenarios. So the balance that we have here is 279,000 what we will be receiving in our bank account. Now after this calls in arrears, we are supposed to go ahead and forfeit Mr. B's share as well. So let's pass that entry. Now while passing this forfeiture entry, you need to be very sure because this person has paid up the premium. So there is no chance of premium getting cancelled here. The only thing is that you have to mention share capital account debit to share for feature to calls in arrears. That is the only entry that we have to pass. That is the last entry that we'll be passing in this specific illustration. So now we're passing the entry for share for feature here. Now when we are talking about share capital, it will be only related to number of shares being forfeited into called up amount. This called up amount will only refer to the called up capital, not including premium here. So we have gone until final call, so total 10 rupees have been called up, so 2000 multiplied by 10. To call scenarios refers to only this person call scenarios that is 2000 multiplied by 3 rupees 6000 he hasn't paid up. So that means 14000 he has paid up. To check that let's figure out whether he has paid up 14000 or not. He has paid 7 rupees or rather 5 rupees on the total capital amount of allotment and 2 rupees on application total he has paid 7 rupees multiplied by 2000 gives you the value of 14,000 being paid up so that gives you the balancing figure of share forfeiture account so this is how the share forfeiture entries are supposed to be passed out whenever in case of share forfeiture being a part of premium or oversubscription. In this illustration, you must have observed that we had oversubscription, we had prorata as well, we had share premium being cancelled out or rather not paid, and share for feature being a part of this specific illustration. So, I hope this video has given you a lot of clarity about how exactly you're supposed to go ahead in the chronological order of share for feature being a part of your entries, or rather, share for feature being a part of your question. So thank you for watching this video, stay tuned with Ikeda and keep subscribing to Ikeda.